Hi, Star Runners! This is the continuation video of the how to import or bulk import wholesale prices in our individual products via CSV file. And in this video, I will show you how we can import quantity-based wholesale pricing. So let's start by going to our product setting. And let's click on a product to add quantity-based wholesale pricing. Since we've already added wholesale prices in the previous video, as you can see here, let's now proceed to add the quantity-based wholesale pricing. Again, uh, please note that you need to add wholesale prices first to enable the quantity-based wholesale price. Don't forget it. And now after enabling this checkbox, we can add quantity-based wholesale pricing. Just an example, let us add quantity, starting quantity of 5 to 10, and let's have a fixed price of Let's say nine and let's add the quantity discount rule and for example for quantities 11 to 20 we can ch let's try to change the price type to a percentage discount off and let's give it a 50 percent discount and let's add the quantity discount rule and now once we're satisfied with our Discount rules, let's go ahead and update our products or our product. Let's double check if it's saved. Yes, the quantity based wholesale pricing is added to our product album. And now let's do the usual exporting process, like what we've done in the earlier video. Make sure we enable the export custom meta. And let us open to edit the CSV file. Let's go ahead and check album. You should find the quantity rules here. This is how the quantity base discount looks like. This is how it is formatted. So please be aware of the formatting of the quantity based discount in order for the importer to properly import the values that we have here. It should have the same format as what we have here. And uh, just an example, I paired this quantity discount rule to add 10 to 20 quantity, the price should be 10 and 21 to 30, the quantity, uh, the price would be 9 and for the 30, one or more quantity, the price would be 8. So as you can see, as you can expect, inspect here, we have the wholesale role set for wholesale customer, the starting quantity is 5, then in quantity is 10, the price type is fixed price and the wholesale price is 9. This is what we've added earlier for the product album. And this is the second rule of having a starting quantity of 11 and a quantity of 20 and the price type is percentage price and set to 50, means 50%. Let us copy this and let's try to create a value where we can import this quantity based requirement. To start, let's copy and paste this and make sure that the wholesale role is for wholesale customer. The starting quantity is 10 to 20. So the price is $10. So the starting quantity is 10 and quantity is 20. And wholesale price is fixed. And Now the next condition or rule is 21 to 30 quantities, price is 9. It's a fixed price. So let's change the starting quantity to 21, 30. And let us change the percentage price to fixed price. And the wholesale price would be... Now we have a quantity of 31 and above with a price, fixed price of 8. Now, as we need to follow the for same format, we need to add a comma 
and curly braces. Now let us copy starting from the quotation mark to the last. And since we have the same user role, let's change the starting quantity to 31. And for quantities more than 31, we just leave it as blank, right? Then the wholesale price would be eight. Now, we should uh, import the rule set we have in our example. Now, let's go ahead and save this. Okay, now we've added this quantity rule. Let's not forget that we did enable a checkbox earlier before we added the wholesale post meta discount. So it should be here. This meta data should be the checkbox where the wholesale quantity based discount is enabled. So let's just set this to yes. Now let's check what product this is. Oh, it's a variable product for a v-neck t-shirt. Let's, once we're familiar with that, let's save it. Just to set as an example. And let's go back to our product backend to import the CSV file. Let's click all products. Let's import. Let's choose the file we've modified and saved. And since we're updating, label this checkbox. As mentioned previous in my previous video, it should be import as metadata. This one and this one. So it's, it's usually set as this by default, but sometimes it's not. So better be sure to check it to be set as input this metadata. Now let us check the product. The product should be the v t-shirt. So to the variations. Oh, it's not because variable product is different. We have a quantity based discount here. There you go. So we have the quantity based wholesale pricing imported properly to our variable product here. And that's how you can import wholesale price, uh, quantity based wholesale pricing to our individual products via CSV file. So if you need to add different quantity rules, you just simply use the format that I've shown you earlier and you can just copy it and use the same format to change the values for your other products if you want to have a different quantity discount rule. And I hope that this video helps in updating or importing quantity-based wholesale pricing and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.